Berg in Western Media in Stockholm, to the, together with Oz Design CFO Anders Svensson. Welcome. Thank you. And you have two major products. Could you briefly tell us about it? Well, we have the cranial implant, which is um, a patient-specific product tailored to every patient's skull. And that we've had that for a number of years. That's actually where Oz Design started uh, many years ago. And um, a year ago, or two years ago, we acquired a Scottish company called Syracos, who had developed um, a bone graft product, which we thought had extremely good properties. So we bought them, and a year ago we launched the product in the commercial setting. So, and I will see that it develops nicely, and that that's um, that's a product that deals with spine, mm. cervical spine, thoracolumbar spine. So, sort of related products, but different. And what are the main benefits with your bone regeneration <clears throat> technology? Well, I mean. The, the regenerative properties, I think the main benefit would be that it's more similar to the human body than any other product. So, and I believe, and I can't possibly prove that, but, but I believe that that actually is causing lower explantation rates because they sit better with the body, the body likes them better, <clears throat> and less risk of infection then. And your top fusion study is now fully recruited. Um, how does this matter for your market ambitions? And it's fully recruited, but we're waiting for the results. <clears throat> so we're starting to see early six month results, but really the last patient was recruited in April this year, and uh, you need 12 months results for the full cohort. So it means sometime June next year, then we'll know what happened. And you have established a surgeon advisory board. Could you tell us yeah. just briefly about it? Yeah, it's, it's pretty recent. <clears throat> We've uh, we managed to get hold of seven really top-notch surgeons in the U.S. and uh, who've been willing to to be part of our advisory board, and they're going to help us with, you know, advice on future product development and strategic issues. Uh, but we only had one meeting so far, so there'll be a next one in December. And you have also communicated a roadmap for growth. What are the most important activities, or in the coming year, or, or so? Yeah. I'd say the, the overall most important activity is to win in the US. We have to succeed in the US, that's the main market. If you don't do that, then it's not gonna happen. <clears throat> and the second one is um, clinical programs. We've had too little clinical uh, data in the past in OS Design, and we're still waiting for the first clinical data on the top future study <clears throat> um, for the Catalyst product. You can sell without clinical data, but it's better if you have it, much more, much more persuasive. So those are the two main in that order. And then I say if I look at specifically the, the cranial implant, uh, we need to cut back on, on um, production time and deliver it faster to the market. And with that, we'll get higher volumes and reduce cost, but certainly cut the delivery time. That's the main topic. It will be interesting to follow and thank you for joining us today. Thanks very much. Good to be here.